Hello guys and welcome to a new Rascal Tech video and today I'm going to be introducing you to my new 3000 watt e-bike build well 3000 watt to begin with this is going to be registered for the roads I'm currently going through the MSVA manual we're going to get a number plate on it taxed insured and we're going to do this right because I can't be asked to spend 2000 pound on a bike and then try and convince the police it's 250 watt so we're just going to move the side panels over there. So this is the kit that I ordered. I actually ordered it through Alibaba um, when I probably could have been better off just ordering it through eBay. It probably would have been the same price as I paid about $270 delivered to the UK. Um, going on to the rear motor, this is a 3000 watt direct drive brushless motor with a, you could say, okay tyre. You know, it looks great. It'll probably be good for you know, 15, maybe 30 miles an hour, but because this is going to be registered for the road, I'm going to have to get these tires off the rims because they've got no E or dot markings. Then moving on to the front forks, just a set of cheap zoom um, downhill triple clamp front forks with a uh, 20 millimeter through axle. So moving on, we've got the rear swing arm. I think the dropout on this is I think 170 mil, which actually turned out to be a bit too big which you'll find out in later videos is I wish I could probably probably get away with a bit less space for the wheel that was ordered for this as well. Then moving on, we've got the uh, rear chassis mount for the seat. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this or go with the Enduro seat just yet. I have ordered the bits for a normal bike seat, but I'll see how it goes after I've started to ride it for a bit. So to power the bike, I'm going to be using some EIG cells. Um, these are known as lithium ion cells. They are 20,000 milliamps each. They can do 100 amps constant and up to 200 amps burst. So I ordered these off eBay for about, I think I paid 140 pounds for 15 good cells and one cell with a bent copper tab. And as you'll see later on in the video, um, I managed to break it trying to bend the copper tab straight so for now i'm going to run a 15s pack i've ordered another cell to eventually go 16s and then in the future i'm then going to order four further cells and go 20s so to charge it i created three 5s packs which then allowed me to use my uh, balance charger that i used for all my um rc plane and drone batteries to charge them up but it did take a long time so as you can see here this is where i snapped the copper end off so i thought you know what that's done you can't even mess around with that you can't solder that so here's the new battery currently getting it's going to be fully charged and then i'm going to discharge it to the same voltage as the rest of one of the packs and this is how i connected up the packs so you've got your bus bars all covered with a 5s balance lead the shop didn't have any 5s so i bought 6s and then just chopped it down so the colors might not match correctly but it works and I've tested every single balance connection from point to point to make sure that it goes to the corresponding cells. And here's the bike so far. We've got a 3000 watt rear hub motor. It's probably capable of maybe 8000 watt once I put some uh, ferro fluid in it just to help dissipate the heat. Might get some heat sinks on it as well. We've got a uh, Shimano seven speed rear cassette and some cheap you know, 24 inch tires. Uh, 24 by 3 inch tires, sorry. We've got some, uh, you could probably say budget 203 millimeter rotors, uh, the same front and rear. 
and they're going to be mated with some uh, Shimano MT420 four pot calipers. They're moving on to the suspension. I went for a DNM RCP25 shock. And then on to the seat, uh, I went for a extra large bike seat. As it is right now, it's positioned quite far over the rear, over the rear wheel. So I'm going to spin the uh, bike seat pole around and try and get the bike seat, you know, further inwards of the frame, just so I can kind of sit a bit better. If not, I might just remove it completely and just go for the uh, Enduro uh, dirt bike style setup seat, whatever that's called. And then moving on to the handlebars, we've got a um, LCD display which links up with the controller. It's really nice. You can get your power uh, assist modes. Um, you can also change the settings of the controller, which is very, which is a very neat tool to have for you know for this kind of money spent. So moving back over to the handlebars, I've decided to fit a set of motorbike hydraulic brake levers because in the MSVA manual, it actually states that the brake levers need to have hydraulic oil levels. Um, and if you decide to go with another route like of a set of mountain bike levers with the fluid level, indicators you're going to be spending a lot of money you know these set me back about i think they're about just under 30 quid and then these are the adapters which you'll need i actually bought them off the e-bike nut which is uh, another great youtuber with some really decent content which i've been watching recently you know trying to learn more about these bikes so yeah bought those bought a set of those off him i think they cost about 10 quid but you will need to get some m6 adapters to get it to fit you know to be able to squash the copper olive and uh, just to show you how it's all fitted i haven't got any hydraulic pressure within the caliper yet but it spins freely and everything's looking great so far so i haven't actually got everything talked up yet i've just it's mainly a dry fit uh, I've had a short ride on it, it was good enough, and then I'm going to strip it back down again, get all the correct bolts. I do need to get some bolts for the rear shock, because right now I've just got some uh, M6 uh, nut and bolt just to go through it, but I want to get some like hardened steel or something. But next on the purchase list, I'm looking for a smart BMS with Bluetooth. I've seen a really good one on Andy Kirby's Cloudstone store and a couple of decent ones on the AliExpress store. The reason why I want to go for a Bluetooth one is because I need to be able to adjust the amount that these cells will charge to because the standard BMS will normally run a lithium ion battery to 4.2 volts, where with these cells, you want to charge them to 4.15 volts. You know, if you charge the 4.2 volts, it's not going to be the best. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get the BMS ordered in and I really want to get a decent charger for it so I can charge the whole pack together without having to take it off and charge them one by one because from flat, I think these batteries will take about eight hours each to charge because my charger can only put about 2.4 amps into the whole 5S pack. So you can probably tell how long that's going to take every time you, you want to charge the bike. So it's going to be BMS is the main thing. We've got um, indicators that are arriving soon and I'm just trying to find a suitable E-marked headlight for the front because there are quite a few spotlights, but I'm not sure if I want to go for that sort of Harley Davidson spotlight look on the front just yet. I think what I'm probably going to go for is I found a 2019 on E-marked headlight on eBay for a really decent price and it looks like it's going to mount quite easily as well to the forks so i'm going to get that ordered get that fitted get all the relay set up get the light switches fitted hopefully the vin number turns up in a couple of weeks and then i can get that stamped onto the frame um i've got the chain and all that on the way i need to get the rear derailleur and uh I really want to try and get the gears for the derailleur on the left hand sides of the handlebars. I don't really want it on the right because I don't really want throttle and gears on the same side of the handlebars together. So I'm going to try and get that moved over to the left. But trying to find the 7 speed gear switch for the left is becoming quite a task. I'm not going to bore you guys too much just yet. We've got a lot more to cover in further videos. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. If you've got any questions, please feel free to drop a comment or just send me an email in the email provided below.